New York, W.O.R. John, welcome to the program. Yes, I'll tell you, he was deserved to be fired, and he's sticking up for these people. All you bums, you working for the Tea Party, all of you. Ah, you shut your mouth, you street bum, you. Who are you? Who the hell are you? Who no. listens to you? Who the hell would ever listen to you other than someone on talk radio? Who do you think you are? What no. have you done with your life, you nothing? Again, trust me. Who, who are you? Tell me who you are. Tell me what you do for a living, that you know anything. What do you know? What would you go to the third grade? Tiger, beat it a cat, you little phony baloney. What do you do? You sell drugs somewhere in Harlem? What do you do for a living? I do. I do better than you. Talk about you white. You're what crazy. do you? Well, tell us what you do. You know what I do. Tell us what you do. You want to get down and dirty with me? Tell millions of people who you are and what you do. You're a bum, the savage. You're a savage. You know what, my friend? No one will ever hear of you again. You just had your one second of fame. Goodbye. Have a nice life. So there is one of the minions that Obama would like to make part of his private security force. And don't, by the way, forget for one minute what Obama said prior to, be, uh, to, to finagling his way into office. Remember that Obama promised that one day he would replace the military with his own private military force that reports only to him. The last time this happened on a major scale was in Germany in the 1930s. When the Austrian Adolf Hitler created a loyal bodyguard elite group that reported only to him because he couldn't trust the army. The army didn't like Hitler. The regular army didn't like Hitler. The Wehrmacht was unreliable for Hitler. So he created his own group of thugs who became the most sadistic of all killers in Germany. Listen. We cannot continue to rely only on our military in order to achieve the national security objectives that we've set. We've got to have a civilian national security force that's just as powerful, just as strong, just as well-funded. Now, you see, if Obama should follow through on his plan to create a civilian national security force, his own SA, the only man in the military who could have led a rebellion against it would have been none other than General McChrystal.